Hello, hello. I've come to show you a couple of ways of really simply adjusting colour in an image. Um, it's something that I've been asked for. Uh, I'm going to show you a method that you can use. However, every image is going to be different and this is a tool you're just going to have to play with. So I'm going to show you how to use it and then you can have a little play with your own images. So I've already duplicated and unlocked my background layer. I'm just going to go ahead and press the layer adjustment. The first one we're going to have a look at is colour balance. Okay, um, your little properties box may well come up over here in these this little line of tabs here. All I've done is clicked and dragged it up here um, because in an in the next tutorial I'm going to make it a little bit more complicated and we're going to have a look at how we can use some of the layers in a little bit of a different way. So for this one. Um, you can see you've got your cyan and reds, magentas and greens, yellows and blues. And this is just a case of moving the sliders up and down. And you can see you can make some adjustments to the colour in your image. So, um, you know, we can increase the blues, which makes those reds a little bit darker. We can increase the yellows, which is obviously going to make those much more vibrant. The greens, again, we can increase the greens. Um, we can put more magenta into those reds. You know, so it's just a it's just a case of playing around with your image to see what you get. That's the very basic way of using colour balance. I'm just going to undo that, and I'm just going to close that, and I'm then going to delete my colour balance adjustment layer by dragging it into the bin. So that's the first easy technique. The second one, we're going to go back to our um, adjustment layers, and this time we're going to go to hue and saturation, and this is the one we're going to use for the next tutorial in a little bit more of a complicated way. So you've got three options here. You've got the lightness and darkness. That's pretty obvious what that's going to do. You've got the saturation, which increases the intensity or reduces the intensity of the colour. Now, I showed you how to change an image into black and white. Um, this is another way. You can just take the saturation completely out of your image and that will turn it black and white. Or you can boost the saturation and really make those colours more vibrant and vivid. What you do have to remember is when you're looking at a screen, it's backlit. So your images are very, very bright. They're going to look different when you print them. Sometimes if you go a bit overboard with this um, saturation, it can look very, very artificial. But in some ways, you know, that might be the effect you're going for. Um, now to change the colour, we've got this hue um, slider up here. And again, it's just a case of playing around with it. Sometimes you can take this a bit too far and it looks, you know, fairly ridiculous. Um, but what you can do, let's say we change that, get that very, very blue. I'm just going to reduce that. Now we've got our hue and saturation layer. quite like the blues, but it's a little bit too much. What you can do is go to this, um, I'm going to do it the easy way for you. Um, if you go to this opacity, you can just reduce the opacity of that layer. So you can, you know, you can get some quite nice effects. It looks ridiculous when you've got, you know, it's completely blue and purple. But when you start reducing the opacity of that, you can get some really nice colours. So that is tip number two. I'm going to be back with two more tutorials today. We're going to use this image one more time and we are going to age it. We're going to make it look old and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do some hue and saturation stuff in the third video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you come back and watch the next video.